Hey guys, Jennifer here, and I'm super excited to share with you a design team project for Ooh La La Vintage Treasures and Kitty Scrap Post. This project came from the Snippet Roll Wall Hanging Kit that um, Doreen put together. And for Kitty Scrap Post, I want to show you. Um, which kit I used. I used the Shabby Chic Notions. Okay, so her her site right now on the blog is kittylicious11.blogspot.com and this is the kit and it's under the themed kits. This particular kit has um, button cards, um, spool cards, like these corset cards here, some bottle cap <laughs> images here, some folders here. And I use this particular page right here. Um, it is the button cards. So I printed these on muslin and I attached it to my snippet roll. So that's how I was in able to incorporate these button cards into this beautiful snippet roll. So that's what I wanted to show you. I'll start with the beautiful um, paintbrush here. It's so cool. So I did quite a bit of things. Uh, the first thing I did was gesso it. And then I painted it pink. So I painted the bristles pink as well with chalk paint and I also painted the handle and then after that I whitewashed the handle because the pink was super bright and so I wanted to tone it down a little bit. Then on the paintbrush here I used some whip spackle so with the whip spackle, um, I was able to provide texture on this particular um, paintbrush. And what I did was I took a paintbrush and I stippled it into, um, you know, just all along the paintbrush. I even added some of the texture paste along the bristles themselves because I wanted them to look worn and tattered and used and then, you know, it adds that shabbiness to them. And then to add on top of that, I used the, by Shimmers, I used the textures, oops. So this is the Textures Crushed Coral and basically it is a like texture paste and it has it's not creamy like the creamy ones it this is the textures and so it has a really cool textured finish to it so i used that with a script stencil and I was able to use that on the paintbrush as well as you'll see it throughout the snippet roll right on the fabric because I felt like um, I wanted to kind of make this more of a mixed media snippet roll instead of, you know, um, just snippets of fabric, lace, and lots of sparkle. <laughs> so um, that's what I chose to do. And I also added the texture paste, the, the uh, spackle, I'm sorry, the spackle to the flowers and just areas, um, various areas over the snipper roll. So let's go into the, let's get close up here so you can see. Okay, so you can see that I added some pearls. These were um, some pearl sprays that were in Doreen's kit and this bow and this piece of rhinestone and pearl that was also included these were from my stash here and you can see on the back 
that I wrapped this lace around and this trim all around the paintbrush and then I added some flowers for my stash and so I think that turned out really pretty then over here I used all of the items that Doreen had in the kit with this she added um, like this beautiful um, I think it was an earring and this piece as well and then um, some of the chain and I added all of the buttons and stuff that she included I added them to the chain as, as well as some of the beads and um, I made a really pretty dangle piece there so you can see here this is one of the button cards and I again printed it on fabric and then I I think I cut off the top a little bit just because I wanted them to be smaller to fit on here and this is just pieces of fabric that I made into little flower bits used a um, I rolled a rose and then I put a uh, doily under here and a little piece of trim that I had from my stash and then these flat back pearls I added as well from my stash and then this is just a piece of like I made it into a bow from this particular lace here this lace was in the kit and I ran it all down the side and then this pink lace right here was from my stash and I added it on the other side to kind of frame it and then this flower I made from I made it from some of the white fabric that she included in the kit and this flower was inspired by a little shabby chic and um, it's a flower that she did a tutorial on and in the back here is some white lace and this pink sequin trim that she included there's one of the uh, rhinestone pieces clips that um, I had ordered from a sparkle kit that had and all of these big sparkle pieces were from that sparkle kit and I thought this was a great way to display them and I wanted to be able to enjoy them instead of seeing them in a box so here's some um, here's another button card and it's so pretty because it has the vintage tans and pink just like the uh, snippet roll wall hanging kit and I love uh, those colors together and here you can see where I added the shimmers um, textures and then these I just layered a couple of doilies that she included and then um, a little piece of rhinestone from my stash this is from the sparkle kit that I got from Doreen and then here is another button card from Louisa's kit and then some more textures there hope you can see that and some pearls and then I added another doily and a flower and then another beautiful piece of sparkle and then here's another trim that was included in the kit and you can kind of see the texture paste on there or the spackle and then this just little elements and bits and snippets from the the kit and then here's another button card with some more textures on it and some more flat back pearls this, this little flower I made from the Christmas fabric from the Christmas tree kit that I had left over and this um, flower there is a tutorial by Natalie who's put some bling on it and she makes it so easy and you can follow right along with her I'll leave the link below then I added one of the doilies here's a snippet of one of the doilies as well here's some trim that was in the kit and then the pink flat back pearl trim 
and then another button card and I added some more pink flat back pearls and this really pretty piece and rhinestone that was from Doreen's kit. Here's another beautiful crown sparkle piece from Doreen's shop and then I layered a piece of doily under there. These are um, snippets of the fabric. I made another little um, kanzashi flower um, from the fabric that was included. And I had just enough to make one flower. And I love that fabric, it's so pretty. And then under here is another one of the button cards. And I added some more pearls and some more texture there. And then the bottom piece, I made a little flower, uh, like puffy flower from my, from this is um, some pink fabric I had in my stash. And these beautiful pieces were in the kit, as well as some of these um, pieces of doilies that I cut up. And this dangled tassel trim here was also in the kit and another beautiful sparkle piece. So I think this is a beautiful way for me to display all of my large sparkle pieces without keeping them stored in a box. And I just thought it turned out really pretty. There's lots of bits and pieces to look at and elements. I just love um, the idea of a snippet roll. I had never made one. So it took me quite a while to make this just because my mojo was out of town and I couldn't finish the project um, just because I had just no creativity and no creativity coming. So <laughs> it was really tough, um, but I finally finished it and I think it turned out really pretty. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think and go check out um, Doreen's Boutique. I'll leave the link below. And as well as Kitty Scrap Post, and I'll leave the link to that as well. Um, now, remember, Luis is closing Kitty Scrap Post um, the end of February, so you really need to, you know, grab those kits that you, you know, were thinking about getting before she closes her store because you can use them forever. And the nice thing is that you don't have to just use them for what they're intended for there's so many different uses you can use on different projects so take a peek at both of those uh, shops and I'll I'll talk to you guys real soon um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you liked my project and uh, subscribe if you're not a s subscriber thank you guys to all my subbies and I will talk to you real soon bye for now